Good morning. So I'm in Maybell's Coffee Garden. Just enjoyed my uh, two lattes, as usual, and uh, now gone on to the uh, mixed smoothie. And uh, looks beautiful as ever. Can't wait to dig into that. There you go. Lovely. Hi, so welcome to Thailand. And currently, um, it's a rainy season, so it's uh, raining. Surprise, surprise. So sometimes uh, the rain only lasts uh, about 10 minutes, and other times it uh, could go on for hours. So I'd like to do uh, a cost of living in Thailand. So this is my first one that I've done. And please bear in mind that I think the first month when you move to Thailand, it can be quite expensive. Also, it's a learning process. So you might spend more money um, on items or even uh, rentals that uh, you wouldn't normally uh, have spent if you had done some more research or some, found some different places. So one thing I want to clear up is uh, visa. So I wasn't going to include the visa uh, in this simply because it's quite a bit complicated and it depends on how you do it. So. I didn't get a visa in the UK. I decided to uh, land in Thailand and then apply for a, a retirement visa in Thailand. Now, the, I used a visa company because the package actually includes um, opening a Thai bank account. It also includes um, getting uh, in accident insurance and some other things as well. So, so I decided to get a multi-entry visa um, just in case I wanted to go to another country and then come back in and then it doesn't uh, invalidate my uh, visa. So that's one add-on. Also the bank account, um, that can be optional, but I, it is far easier for them um, to open a bank account for me. In fact, we had a bank representative came to the office the next day and signed all the paperwork. They put a 500 baht deposit down in the bank account. It includes, well, you have to, have to pay extra uh, for the accident uh, insurance. And I didn't mind because that covers you if you're on a bike, which I would be. Um, if you have an accident on a bike, then that covers you for that. So I'm very happy to, to have that. So the visa cost in total 51,600 baht and of course if you divide that by 12 that works out a lot less so let's let's see what the visa includes multi-entry retirement visa includes opening a bank account and a deposit of 500 baht in that account the bank also gives accident insurance for one year so this is a retirement visa and it is for 15 months. Okay, so that's a little bit different to what maybe others have, have done. So it includes a 90 day visa and, and a one year retirement visa. Hence, that's why um, it's a 15 month visa. So now moving on for the visa what you will need for uh, a retirement visa you will need to de deposit 800,000 baht in the bank account at some point now I say at some point because you don't actually need to do it straight away there's two ways of doing it some people prefer to have the security and have the money transferred into the bank account and then you don't have to worry about it and it just sits in the bank account. There's many people saying different things about that. To be on the safe side, it's probably best to have the money in the account. Or you can divide that by 12 and put in, so like uh, every month you put uh, like six, 66,667 baht in the bank account every month or the equivalent so 
you're hoping by the end of the year when you go to renew your visa that the money the correct money is actually in the bank account when you go to renew your visa after after a year so I think I've covered everything about that when I go through the costs of the month I will include the visa at the bottom um, because that that does vary so this is purely for my costs and as I said this might be more expensive than most because I could have done a lot more research into properties and things like that uh, when I came to Thailand and when I come to Carter I wanted a lovely sea view I wanted an, a, a nice bigger uh, apartment and unfortunately it comes with cost after staying here for a while I realized actually I could have got property for possibly half of that price you won't get the sea view uh, it might be a little bit further out but uh, you could actually half the cost um, of your accommodation rental now, I'm happy where I am at the moment and uh, I should be moving on to somewhere else also things change um, like gym membership um, I went to a more expensive gym and there's cheaper gyms out there that do special offers and things like that so um, that, that's the other thing so over time you get to learn how to save money so for the first month it can be quite expensive especially like me if I come from I've come from the UK and I did send some stuff over but I couldn't send everything over it was difficult and I had to get rid of clothes and things like that so there's some things I've had to start from scratch and buy when I've got here so it can work out more expensive definitely for the first month or first two months until you get more more settled so over a period of time you do get to learn how to save money in, in different areas for example mobile phone you can actually get a whole year package and it works out really cheap unlimited uh, like internet and un unlimited calls um, I wasn't aware of it at the time so my package is actually more expensive um, than some um, it's cheaper than what I was paying uh, so it, it swings and roundabouts so you get to know that later on um, how cheaply you can get things so it's all a learning process okay so now I shall go through um, the cost of living in Thailand so my rent for my condo is uh, 23,000 a month now that's quite a big apartment I did look at smaller ones they were cheaper I spent a little time in a Airbnb first of all and it was just tiny and realized that I couldn't live in such a small apartment so I was looking for a bigger apartment with a, a nice sea view it's got a lovely balcony uh, with uh, chairs outside sun chairs so it's fantastic it's um, also got a swimming pool very close by literally I have to walk up some stairs and there's a swimming pool again sort of like an infinity pool and it ov overlooks uh, the sea so that's quite beautiful that's 23,000 baht a month for that you can literally halve that um, but because of the location because of the sea view because it's bigger than most apartments then it's more expensive and also the, the condo area that I'm living in um, is a more expensive uh, place so I actually got that reduced because when I first started it was uh, 25,000 baht uh, a month so um, but because I took up uh, a three month uh, rental agreement that brought it down to 23,000 if I took it out for a year it would have been 21,000 so there wasn't that much difference uh, in it okay so that's uh, the rental now food and toiletries that works out to be about 8,000 baht per month 
the water is very cheap in Thailand, so that's uh, only 500 baht. Later on, I will put uh, I will put conversions so you're able to to work it out. Um, now, electric. Now, when I first come to Thailand, I'm not used to the heat, so we were running the aircon quite a lot. Um, so hence that ended up being three thousand bar a month. Um, so that has now reduced because um, we're not running it as much. But not only that, um, we've climatized for the heat, so now we can we can tolerate um, a much higher heat now. So instead instead of putting it a really low setting. Uh, we don't have to have it on that low setting anymore and it's still comfortable uh, for us and sometimes we just open up the doors and put the fan on so we're saving some money there then the mobile phone as, as I said that depends but my current package well actually my current package a month was 699 but if you're making phone calls and things like that uh, and text messages um, it puts it up so it worked out my first month to be about 1,000 baht um, then we got bike rental got quite a nice bike um, can get nicer ones so the bike rental is uh, 3,500 baht a month and the petrol already comes up to about uh, 400 baht uh, a month. We don't tend to do long journeys, we only tend to go local. Might go down to Rawai, uh, Carter Beach, uh, some of the other beaches, so we go quite local. Anything longer than that, we tend to get a, a, a taxi. So, the next thing is socialising. That all depends. I put down 5,000 baht because you I've gone to the water park, go to the cinema, um, and you do some drinks and things like that. So I bought 5,000 baht for that. And that literally all depends on what you're doing if you're going out for drinks and things like that. That can change. Laundry. So we do send our laundry away. Um, we do a very small amount of uh, washing, some towels and things like that. But most, to, most of our laundry is sent away. And that works out about... 500 baht per month internet at the condo is 300 baht a month now taxis because i tend to like going to central uh, shopping center or might go in, in into town um, i've also gone to kamala patong um, so the cost of taxis is 5000 baht a month obviously if you don't mind though doing those longer journeys on the bike then that will work out a lot cheaper but uh, sometimes it's, it's raining here and uh, you've got nothing to do and you know you want to go to the cinema or you just want to go go out um, in an air con environment um, go and do some shopping relax go to Starbucks or, or whatever um, and have, have a day out, so we tend to get a, a, a taxi, a taxi there. That can be sort of like uh, probably at the very most about 300 baht going there and 300 baht going back. So the total for that was 5,000 baht a month. And gym membership, my gym membership was 1,200. There are more expensive ones, um, but more recently I found a, a cheaper one that's only 900 baht a month. So. But for the month that we're talking about, it was 1,200 baht. So that's a total of 51,400 per month, which equates to 1,183 pound, or, or 1,450 US dollars. Now if I add the visa on that, and divide it by 12, um, the visa comes to 4,300. So the final total is 55,700 
Um, I have not included insurance as this varies depending on age and current medical conditions. So I'll probably do that on a different video about insurance and hopefully I'll be able to speak to someone um, ab about that and um, possibly even do a Zoom call or some something like that. But um, hopefully on another video I will actually do that. So I think I've covered everything. So the insurance, I will do a separate video on, on that at a later stage. Okay, thanks very much for watching and catch you later. Bye.